Bethany kids, how are you doing today? I'm so glad you guys are jumping in and watching this. And I have a really, actually a really important message we're going to talk about today with Jesus. Jesus, this is, this is the Sermon on the Mount that we're going to dive into. You know, Jesus is talking to all these people. And in the Sermon on the Mount, there's so many good lessons for us. I mean, it's full of all this awesome stuff. But there's one in particular that's, that's kind of odd. And I'm just going to read it, and then we're going to talk about it. It simply says this. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Now, I don't know about you, but um, I haven't had a lot of people force me to go a mile. I mean, there's not been a lot of people in my life that said, you know, I don't know, maybe outside of a PE teacher, that said, hey, run a mile right now. I mean, can you imagine if somebody did that to you? Somebody today or yesterday or somebody just walks in your house and it goes, hey, one mile right now. You'd be like, I'm in my pajamas. So, no. <laughs> Why would anybody ask anybody to go a mile? That seems like a silly request, doesn't it? Well, back then, actually, it was Roman law that they could make you go one mile. Now, there's a point to it. A Roman soldier has a lot of equipment. He's got a sword. He's got a little backpack of food and stuff. He's carrying all sorts of stuff. It's heavy. So as a duty that a citizen would have to provide to a Roman soldier, a Roman soldier just could go up to anybody and said, all right, one mile, you, right now, here's my stuff. And you, whatever you were doing, you were just going to buy some groceries. You were just going to do something. You had a place to be. Next thing you know, you got a backpack full of stuff. You got, you got all sorts of stuff, and you're having to walk a mile with the soldier. That was what was required of you. But you listen to what Jesus said again. Jesus says, verse 41, if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Why? You're just required to do the one mile. Why in the world would you go further and do a second mile? Now, I want you to imagine that you're that person, you got the backpack, the soldier is whistling with you. He says, doo, 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 this is great. <laughs> My shoulders are sore from that. How are you doing with that? Is that heavy? It's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Boy, I'm glad to get a break. Now, let's say he's like, you're getting up to that mile, and he, you've had a little conversation with this soldier, or maybe no conversation at all. And then he's like, all right, well, that's the mile. I guess I'll take my stuff back. But you keep walking. Now, this is awkward now, isn't it? Because the soldier is now thinking, wait a minute, we've done the mile. He's required to do the mile. Why is he all of a sudden going another mile? So now you got the soldier kind of keeping up going, hey, hey, it's your mile is done. No more. You don't need to walk anymore. It's okay. It's okay. You're done. You're, you're, you're free. Keep, why do you keep going? But you just keep going. You're just like, hey. Don't worry about it. I needed my workout today, right? <laughs> All of a sudden, you're showing kindness. This person showing kindness to this soldier that this soldier has not, has not earned. It's unearned kindness. It's, it's freely given even though there's no deserving of it. And this is, this is tied to what Jesus has talked about all the time. You know, he talks about loving your enemies and praying for those who, who actively harm you. That, that there's a level of love we can show that, that goes beyond just what people deserve. Right? You, you never, uh, I don't know if you've ever had a sibling rivalry at all, or maybe something with a friend, and you end it with, she deserved it. He deserved it. Right? But this is, this, is, this is outside of that. This is freely giving that kindness. And when we freely give kindness outside of what somebody deserves, it is, it is a revelation. It is a wake-up call. It stands out to the rest of, of the rest of the world because we just don't operate like that. Not many people just give kindness like that. That is so cool. So that leads us to our bottom line this week, which is this. Be kinder than you have to be. What if we all lived like that? 
be kinder than you have to be. If we were just all kinder than we needed to be, rather than just, hey, how's it going? Good to see you. But we were just like, whoa, wow, it's so good to see you. Tell me what's going on. How, how's life? Right? To these people that we might not have a strong relationship with. Or, or what if we gave a little bit extra to whatever cause or, or you know, fundraised a little money to help support something. Or, or, or we were extra generous to somebody else even though they weren't deserving of it. Or, or in so many different ways with, with our parents or with our, our siblings or our friends. What if we were kinder than we had to be? What would change? What would that do? Oh, what a cool thought. That's our message this week. So go ahead this week and be kinder than you have to be. And, and remember our memory verse. If, you, if you've been working on it, here it is again. It says this, you are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. All right, everyone. I'm so glad you jumped in on this video. I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you all next week.